Ruth, and I, we should wrap this up soon. You know, given everything that we've been talking about and that you yourself say troubles you about Trump and particularly some of his stands on, on you know, supporting uh, judges that, that may overturn Roe v. Wade. Um, is there any likelihood that you may decide not to vote for Trump, that you might vote for any of the Democrats currently on the ticket, that you might stay home? What are you thinking at this so point? I won't stay home because I think that that is just, um, it is not okay. And that's saying the least. Um, it is not okay to not vote. It is, um, it may not be great choices, but you must make a choice because uh, well, for me personally, I, I earned it. I had to take that test and become a naturalized citizen. Yeah. So I earned that right and I'm going to use it. And anybody who doesn't, I think shame on them. Um, as it stands right now, the candidates that are out there are an absolute no for me. I am looking more into Bloomberg, although I'm not entirely sure um, how I feel about him. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard statements like he bought his way into the candidacy and um, I, don't, I don't know enough about him. So um, I would look more into him. So I'm not saying no, absolutely not. Hands down, I'm voting for Trump. I'm going to wait till the end to see what the options are. I can tell you that of the debates that I have watched, I couldn't even watch till the end. I found them so immature and so, I, I couldn't, I mean, Hannah was saying, you know, Trump is so insulting to others and cast a shadow on other people. I disagree. Every single Democrat spent their entire time casting shadows on Trump instead of talking about what they're going to do great. <clears throat> and you have people like Elizabeth Warren, who makes promises for when she will be in office uh, to cure PTSD in soldiers. What is she doing now? How is she possibly holding on to something that she believes she can fix in order to buy herself a ticket into the Oval? I, I can't even understand how that sentence can come out of her mouth. I don't understand what you're talking Elizabeth about. Elizabeth Warren made a statement that she has a way to cut down uh, soldiers' PTSD by 50% to once she gets into office. A most ludicrous statement. And if you have some sort of answer to PTSD, which again, I just think is a lie, like most things coming out of people's mouths, um, why are you waiting? Why aren't you helping people now? Because she's in the minority in the Senate. The House has passed 300 bills, some of which will improve health care for vets, some of which will improve health care for women who've been raped and are experiencing trauma. They've, they have voting. Uh, Rules for voting um, accessibility. 300 bills the House has passed, none of which have come to the floor in the Senate. I, um, I just want to say, I have told Moment Magazine in the past, I support Cory Booker. Mm -hmm. He's the real deal. And if you've ever listened, to, I don't know why he's not getting traction. I don't have an answer. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure race is somewhere in there. Cory is the only one who's talking about bringing the country together, truly. Um, I lived in New York when Bloomberg was mayor. He was a very good mayor. He'd make a very good president. I'm not supporting him right now. The election, by the way, was on September 11th, 2001. It had to be redone for obvious reasons. Bloomberg was a very good mayor. He was a very progressive mayor. First thing he did was deal with abortion rights and taking on the gun industry. And he puts his money, you know, into climate change. If he's the nominee, I will, th I will enthusiastically support him. Right now, my guy is Cory Booker. And if you spend any time listening to him, you will find that he quotes Talmud and Torah when he's making his fundamental plea for respect and civility. He is somebody who has studied Talmud for years, and he shames me on how much he knows him, Tara. Did you know that I, about, Ruth, did you know that about Cory Booker? I did not, but I am very excited to start listening to him now. Yeah, he, he, it is an interesting fact about him. Um, yeah. He may be the most Jewish candidate out there. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, look, I don't want to take any more of your time. You guys have been wonderful. You know, you're both spirited, you have strong opinions, and 
it's a great thing to see and you know i appreciate your sharing them with us is there anything in closing ruth would you like to add or the only thing i'd add is that i love 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 the musical hamilton me too Ooh. and i just brought my daughter as a birthday present to see it for the third time yeah. <laughs> and i love it because of the genius of lynn manuel but i also loved it because it was a reminder of how our country fought not to have a king not to have someone who deals with his private interests or uh, and makes money off of the title and who believes he can do anything he wants so for those who love hamilton remember what its message is ruth did you see hamilton absolutely yeah the best huh <laughs> it was and actually that the king's song you'll be back plays in our house on a daily basis <laughs> <laughs> well right. transfer well, the face for a few minutes <laughs> i'm so glad we can all agree on hamilton it's a great oh, it's marvelous <laughs>